Hey, what's up guys? Mule Skull here, and welcome back to Feed the Beast Unhinged, episode 99. We left off, we went on a failed diamond mining trip. Um, didn't find any coal the last one. We went, we went twice. First one, we got some coal. The second one, we didn't get jack. So, we're going to go mining again. Um, let's get a chargey charge on the jetpack. Just because... We're not going to be using it long, but, um, yeah, this episode we are going to take some inventory on our coal, see how far we are on that, and we will then go diamond mining again. Um, we should go to the village and see what they got. We'll bring some wheat with us, because uh, they like to trade for wheat a lot. A lot of the time anyway um okay we got yeah we're good there now let's do some inventory let's see we got 28 coal there and quite a few stacks here one two three four five and 19 so not quite a six stack but that's five and over five and a half Okay, now, let's farm some wheat here. Usually villagers uh, like to trade stuff for wheat, and let's see, they also trade other things, but I can't think of any right this instant. Um, what I'm hoping for is there's a blacksmith that trades emeralds for diamond armor. Or something crazy like that which would be quite excellent okay good enough 15 wheat will get us somewhere maybe if they're generous villagers be better just to know what they trade for really um, okay good enough maybe we'll break some sugar cane down so we can keep that growing Actually, you know what? Let's just do some full-on maintenance of the farm real quick. Um, go like that. Okay, good. Potatoes. Beautiful. And some carrots. We got more wheat, too, so... Probably a good thing I came back. Now, good, oops, there goes the torch, which is alright, because we need to make torches anyway, um, would be awesome as if the villagers traded coal, but I doubt that's going to happen, they're usually pretty stingy, um, these 1.5.2 villagers. The new snapshot actually shows that they worked on uh, villager trading and cool stuff like that. So that's pretty cool to see happening. Okay, throw some seeds in there. Um, we'll take some carrots and potatoes, why not? And we will go just leave one of those sugar cane there for some reason. Okay. Villagers. They're way over here. Not way, but you know. If I remember correctly, they're like right over this way. There's the temple. Sun's still high in the sky. Might as well get some more sugar cane while we're here. Good enough. I'm not going to go hunting for it. Now, let's see here. Oh, villagers. Oh, villagers. Where the heck do you live? Ah, there we go. I don't know if they trade for sugar cane or not. Um, I guess it's worth a shot. 
Might as well grab it all because I've got kind of a sugarcane farm going at home. So it's not really a big deal if I just break these plants up and take them. Okay. And they've got wheat farms, which is good. You! You! Hello! Hello, Mule School. Gravel and an emerald for flint. I don't think so. How about you? Um, yeah. I don't need bread that bad. I don't need flint and steel that bad. You. No? You. No. Um, okay. I need someone who trades uh, four emeralds, not emeralds four. Hmm. Hey, I remember that. I think there's diamonds down there? You. You're the just the guy I'm looking for. Raw pork chops, huh? For an emerald. Hmm. Looks like I have to become a pig farmer. Gosh, you guys really want emeralds, don't ya? I'm sorry, but I just can't do it. Looking for emeralds in all the wrong places. Looking for em oh. <laughs> um, no. We're not gonna go down there just quite yet. Time of day. Getting close to night time. I wanna get out of here before these guys, uh. Gosh, I wish I could just trade you something. You guys are being stingy. You! Oh, I already talked to you, I think. Man, what's up with you guys, huh? Nobody? I come bearing gifts and you don't want to give me nothing. Twelve fish for an emerald. Cooked, jeez. I don't want to sit there and fish all day. Oh, Skype notification. I'm busy. Or, er, Steam. Dang it, Steam. For an emerald cap? Really? Really. Or leather. Leather cap. Not emerald. Did I say emerald or leather? I meant leather. Fine. I don't want to trade with you guys anyway. Well, that's a bummer. I'll have to work up to something then. Um, it looks like they want fish and... <laughs> yeah. Stuff that I don't really feel like doing. I think mining's just the way to go. Um, I've never really had much faith in the villagers anyway. They always trade for things that are ridiculous. Yeah. Sometimes you get the good villagers that want to trade wheat for uh, emeralds, and that's a decent trade. Just because it's, it's good for you, it's not, you know, I mean, yeah. Okay, so let's go to bed and we'll resume our mining. Um, pick a new spot, we won't use the, the mine anymore for now. Now it's bedtime, now it's bedtime. Just about there. Perfect. Alrighty. So. Let's see. I got all this crap on me. I don't want to carry around. So sugar cane in there. Wheat. Carrots. Regular potatoes. I gotta become a pig farmer, I guess. Um, someday. Someday I'll be a pig farmer. But I don't know where any pigs are. I always kill them. <laughs> I guess there's some way out there, like towards, uh, not quite Tetra Cave, probably west of te Tetra Cave there, just like over there. But I don't really feel like dragging pigs that far. Maybe I can just go on a murder spree, but that's not nice either. Okay, so how we doing? We're working on iron ore. 
get some more ore into that thing too. Um, silver, lead, ferrous, and cast cast the right. Is that right? Cas cassiterite. Cas cassiterite. Whatever. Whatever I said. There. There. Silver. Lead. Okay. Just want to fill it up. Keep it going. Even if it's dead out of power like it is now. Five charcoal in there. Okay. We need torches. So I think we got to chop a tree. Um, a floater. I don't like floaters. That's the one good thing about uh, the tree capitator mod is you don't really have to worry about floaters. You just chop one one block and it's gone. The whole tree. But it's also uh, makes the game too easy. I think. I don't know. Beautiful. Oh, what's our next... Where's our next victim? Um, You will do just fine. Okay. So, we'll get this chopped down. You know, this is kind of the unorthodox way of mining it out, or chopping it down. I don't know. You know what I mean. Wow, this is a tall tree. Let me break through. Come on, you're wasting my jetpack here. Well, I'm wasting it, but, you know. Yeah, that didn't do too bad. It's not like we're not at home or anything. Yep, I knew you were hiding one or two or three from me. Oh no you don't. Oh no you don't. Get up there. There we go. I'm just going to very quickly look for that. That's what I'm looking for. Okay, good enough. Yeah, this is a pretty ugly way to cut down a tree. But it's all good. It is what it is. So, episode 99. Holy moly. One away from 100. Still alive. Haven't died yet. It's a good thing for me. Um, quite an accomplishment. I don't even know how many hours I've got into this. I'll maybe I'll provide some stats for a hundred episodes and see all what's up. Um, give me one second, guys. I gotta answer a phone call. All right, we're back. Um, yeah, had to talk to the wifey wife. When she calls, you better you better answer. <laughs> so yeah. Oh, this is gonna be a wreck up there. I bet you I left a bunch of floaters. Um I forgot what I was even talking about. Oh well. Probably wasn't important, it's just idle banter. Idle banter. Um in other news Lightning Returns Final Fantasy thirteen's coming out. Who's excited? 
Anybody? Anybody? No? You aren't excited? Well, I am. Big Final Fantasy fan. Um, been playing since I think like 19. Yeah, last century. So, sometime. That was a long time ago, though. Played every one of them. Um, we've been over this. 13's not my favorite of the series, but. Uh, well, the 13 series is not my favorite. But that's okay, because. Uh, Square Enix, even when they make a kind of crappy gameplay game, it still has quality to it. And. Um, graphically, I think that Square Enix is one of the best quality making video game quality companies in the world um, as far as artists go even their stories are just oh you scared the crap out of me zombie um, even their games that don't play very good are still good graphically um, yeah and and I don't know I said it a, a while ago about Final Fantasy 13 they they need to go back like take a step back find out what worked and I mean I understand there's a lot of haters out there but you know the people that say oh this game's crap or whatever well you bought the game um, maybe you should have checked for a review of the game before you got it I don't know I buy them blindly because I like to be surprised by the story and 13.2 had its flaws but it had its pluses too it was way better than the first one um, gameplay wise but um, I don't really like uh, press this button to win very much you know button masher like not even really a button masher like a you know press I, I play PlayStation and we call it press X to win <laughs> but yeah story was story was decent um, I like how they come out of the box a little bit to build their games, and that's kind of where I go. It's my go-to for an RPG. Always has been. Um, you can agree or disagree. It's just an opinion. Don't don't hate me over my opinion, okay? Uh, I'm sure you have your own opinion. But yeah, I'm excited for that. That's coming out, and let's see. It's the fourth today. So, yeah, the 11th. A few more days. Seven days. One week. And, yeah, I just have to make sure to play it, uh, not on Valentine's Day. I gotta take the wife out to dinner. Or something. Probably dinner. We gotta do something together. So we've both been pretty busy these last few months, and... I think it would be nice just to get her out of the house and enjoy a dinner with her husband. Okay. Wow, that actually turned out pretty good. Didn't really massacre the skyline very much. Um, you're gonna go right there. Okay, that's not really the best place for a tree, but sure. Just trying to get some trees out here. Not that I'll chop them down anytime soon. Um, let's see. Okay, good. And one single solitary tree is going to go right there. Okay, good enough. It's almost bedtime again. And wow, I did get a lot of wood that time. I should turn it all into charcoal, really realistically really realistically take that 33 throw that in there just because I want to keep it going for a while and we'll throw that 15 in there okay that gives me a stack of wood um, I don't know what exactly I should do with it should probably make some barrels for all of our junk but I'm not really feeling that right this instant, guys. Oh, you know what? I should do. Just take like half of that. 
and throw that in the Coke oven. All 19. Perfect. Okay. Um, let's throw a bucket of lava in the thermal. I gotta dump this one out. Um, dump it out. There we go. And I think I got a bucket here. Yes, I do. Okay. You. Take that lava. Thank you very much. Oh, we're building up pretty good there. That's good. Okay. Um, I need some charcoal for some torches. What should I make? I don't know. Let's build a few. We'll go like that. Okay. Keep my sticks. Let's keep that charcoal on us. Um, just for the sake of having charcoal on us. Throw those seeds in there. Okay, we're good to go. Now, let's finally go mining. Finally, finally go mining. Somewhere else. Let's see. Um, hmm. Bottom of the ravine mining? Okay, let's do it. It's not really that far away from home, though. Ooh! The ravine that just keeps on giving. I heard splishy splash. Did I miss something? Hmm. Okay. I like how these ravines just crisscross everywhere. It's awesome. I wonder how my jetpack's doing, too. I did kind of abuse it on that tree. Yeah, okay. Let's go charge it. Charge it up. Then we'll find a new place to mine. Let's see. You. Chargey charge. Yeah. Five pieces of coal. That's pretty awesome. It's not going to build a quarry for us or anything, but it gets us a little closer. Let's see. Where do we want to go? Hmm. I think we're just going to head this way. Oh, this looks like a prime digging location. Um, let's switch this out for that. There we go. Torch. There we go. I love this pickaxe. Um... Yeah, the one thing better would be, uh, fortune. That would make it totally, totally worth it to use, um, forever. I'd spend diamonds on a fortune pick right now. Oh, oh okay, we're good. That. Okay. I fear no skellies or zombies. Unless I end up in a cave with them. Or it makes scary sounds like that. Um, if you guys watch my Amplified Survival series, uh, the OzoCraft texture pack I'm using right now is, like, scary. 
it's like seriously like it adds uh well it's a resource pack so it adds sounds and stuff holy crap i'm so freaked out of that texture pack i'm not even kidding um zombies they don't make like really really horrendously scary sounds but like oh my gosh yeah it's it's pretty creepy guys you guys should seriously play with that texture pack just one day just go in there and listen to cave sounds that's all I'm asking you because that's like seriously uh, my my wife was playing with it and she's like uh did you hear that and I said what she said it said I'm gonna kill you or something like that like that's the cave noises and it's like creepy as hell yeah so <laughs> Yeah, check that check that texture pack out if you haven't. Um, well, resource pack. I always call them texture packs, but come on, I'm old school like that, guys. Galena, silver and lead. That's what Galena is. Now let's see. quiet all of a sudden. That usually means a creeper's right behind you. Let's stay here at level 9-ish. Alright. Just need one patch of diamond. It's one like three vein of three diamonds. That's like that would do it. That would get me a quarry. Yes, we all have dreams. <laughs> okay, good enough. Yeah, so quiet. I really should turn Steam off when I start recording too. Um, Steam's just automatically on on my computer, so I get notifications or messages or whatever, and they just beep into my video, and yeah, it's nice. Oh, baby, there it is. One. Two, three. Uh-uh. It can't be the end of it. Aha. I knew it. Knew it. You can't hide from me. That means I give us five. That's enough. So, on that note, guys. Uh, yeah. Let's throw a torch here. Let's head back to the house. Sweet. Okay. Yeah, good old level 9 on the, well, it's mini-map 9. Um, what would that be? I think that's, yeah, 8. Cause the 9 below the mini-map, it says, okay, it says plus 151, plus 90, and then 9. That's eye level. So, yeah, good old level 8.
or nine. Eye level. I don't know. I always go by the mini map one. Um, I know what's eye level, but yeah, it's pretty awesome. Time of day. Almost night time too, so we're gonna make it home, have a sleepy sleep, and start building our quarry. Well, crafting our quarry. And uh, that's good because that means episode 100, we will start setting up the quarry. Um, so it's not going to take long to get this quarry built and everything, but I want to figure out what kind of engines we should use, um, how we're going to pipe it, how we're going to how we're going to set this thing up, really. Um, I want it to be kind of a mobile quarry system where we can move it without having to go crazy with the... No, not now. Come on, Spidey. Come on. Let me sleep. You're gonna die. You're gonna die. No, you're not? Okay. I'll just finish that for you then. How about that? Beautiful. I don't even want your string. That's where I'm at with that right now. Let's just go to bed. Looks like there's like a gang of creepers out there. Yeah, one. Two, three, yeah. There's a whole posse out there. Okay, diamonds. We gotta build some diamonds. So I need three diamonds right now. Um, let's see. One, two, three. Perfect. And we'll put our dirt away. And our cobble. And our gravel. Okay, and that clears up quite a bit of space. Um, I want to get this other stuff taken care of. Pulverizer, you're still running and you got nothing to do. There you go, there's something to do. And we'll take our charcoal, we'll throw our charcoal in here. Um, let's turn off the pulverizer for now. We're going to build up this part of the factory because we're going to need the compressor. Um, I need three pieces of obsidian. I'm going to need... Uh, tw no, let's see, 8, 16, 24 pieces of flint, there's 22, no, no, really, let me think about this, I'm gonna need, um, 8, 8, and 8, yeah, I'm gonna need 24, no, let's just, you know what, Let's just do this. There we go. Okay. Now I need a crafting table. Stupid. You know what? Marcel, this is for you. Get out of my life, door. I don't even care. <laughs> Stupid door's been in my way forever. It had a purpose once upon a time. That purpose has outlived itself. Okay. Yes. Like I thought, I needed 24 pieces of flint. Jeez, just like me to doubt myself, huh? Okay. We got coal balls. Now we need to compress them. So, let's grab our overclockers. Compressor. Overclock that puppy. Take out that quartz. Let's throw in those two quarts real quick just to get a little bit more room. Yeah. Okay. Then we got some serious uh some serious compressing to do. Oh come on. You got this. Thank you. There we go. Get some compressed coal balls going. 
Um, we are decent on charcoal. Got some more coal on me. Maybe we should just throw that in here. Just for the sake of doing that. Okay, good enough. I don't like creepers surrounding my house. I really don't. Okay, we're doing decent there um, on fuel. We'll just leave it at that. Should make more overclockers one day. Creeper head. I like how sometimes the map doesn't update like it should. Oh. Thank you. Okay. I wonder what the uses for a creeper head is. If there's any like special awesome use you can do with it in this pack. I have a zombie head. I think I've checked uh, before, but oh well. I don't know. There. How about that? <laughs> with my skin, it looks kind of weird. <laughs> Looks kind of creepy. Yeah, that's interesting. I'm going to need a new skin one of these days. Trust me, I love my skin, but... Um, yeah, I think it's almost time for a change. With the new uh, way that they do skins in the latest snapshot, I should probably do that. I don't use run-of-the-mill skins, I always make my own, just because it's part of the game. You can make it what you want it. Um, I'm going to put that there to creep me out every time. Get it, creep? Creep me out? <laughs> okay, compress a little faster. Still got all this jungle wood too. There we go. I hate to do it, but how much redstone do I have? Man, look at how much more convenient that is. Okay, I'll keep the door. We'll put it in here. Why not? Nope. This one. Sure. Okay. Um, what was I doing? I was just doing something. Oh, um, I wanted to know how much what did I, how much what do I have? Oh, redstone, that's right. I hate doing it this way, but I don't have enough. I'm not going to use 58 redstone to, yeah, we're going to save what little bit we got. This is done. Boom. Perfect. Now let's uh, throw this around some obsidian. There we go. And let's make some diamonds. And I'm going to need my gold gears. There we are. Yes, diamonds. Finally. I'm so excited for this moment. Um, okay. Now, quarry. Diamond gears. 
So I have to use regular diamonds, it shows. Okay, let's do this then. We'll go like this, make real regular diamonds. Come over here. Put our gold gears there. And diamond gears. Oh yeah. Get our gold ones, our steel gear, diamond drill, advanced circuit. Come over here. We're gonna go quarry. Tell me how to do it. Ah, uh, won't show me. Fine. Just do it this way. Diamond drill. Steel gears. Advanced circuit. Oh, we got a quarry. We got a quarry. We got a quarry. Okay, now. Um, how are we going to do... How should we run this thing? Combustion engines are nice. I like combustion engines, but they always blow up. Um, I'm thinking magmatic. Let's see. Let's look at engines real quick. I want to look at uh, magmatic engines. Where are you? Right there. Okay, magmatic engines. Um, I wish they showed like stats for these things. Because I think this has a good output and all it requires is lava. Um, hmm. It's something to think about for sure. Redstone transmission coil, silver. Okay, let's make uh, two of these. Why not, right? Invar. I always forget how to make invar. It's like iron and iron and tin or something crazy like that. Invar dust, sure. Iron and nickel. Okay, or pulverized ferrous metal. Okay. We got both of those. Oh, we're going to need some invar. Let's see. We'll take that many of those and 16 nickel, right? We'll just make a few, you know? We might as well make some invar ingots because um, maybe we want more lava oriented engines. I don't know. Holy crap, that's a lot. Let's do it. Why not? Might as well. Let's go to bed. Yeah, um, I'm not opposed to making invar ingots, just because, I mean, everything that requires invar is decent. Um, let's see. I want to see what we can do with invar ingots. So we can make invar gears. Induction smelter, um, yeah, the magmatic engine, I'm going to need some pistons. I say we make two of them, so two pistons, two redstone transmission coils, six ingots, so that's six, we need eight, or uh, eight and eight, so 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 22 invar ingots-ish. Let's go, let's see, we'll make 22, and I'm going to need some, uh, going to need some iron, let's make two, three, four, four is a good start, and you know what, let's take this out real quick, get our four, so we can make pistons while this cooks. And I say we just throw in all the invar dust. I don't really see the point in keeping it dust when we can just... Yeah. Oh, how about some overclockers? There we go. Let's just make all invar ingots. Okay. Pistons. I'm going to need some cobble. Do I got any on me? No.
and I'm going to need some wood planks, which is actually a good thing I didn't kill all that junk wood. Um, let's see. Two, four, six. Oh, redstone. Dang it. It's always something. grab all of our redstone except for one so we can quick stack it back in let's see here like that two of them go there I'm gonna need more iron um, for gears um, I'm losing it there we go those go like that and Beautiful. Two pistons. So I'm going to need more iron. Okay. Got two pistons. Let's see. One, two, three, four. So I need four, eight, twelve, sixteen more iron. Or sixteen total. Just grab sixteen. Why not? Cook it all. Doesn't matter. We need iron all the time, so. It's not a big deal if we make too much. That's plenty for now. Let's throw that in there. Let's see, I've got two iron on me. Um, oh, you know what? I totally miscalculated that. I don't need all that iron. I only need four gears. Beautiful. So we got our gears, we got our pistons. Um, we need silver. We need two silver for some two redstone transmission coils. So uh, let's grab two silver here. Let's grab. I'm trying to think of anything else. Glass? Is that? I need glass. No, that's what the redstone transmission coils for. Okay, got that out of there. Throw those two silvers in there. Beautiful. And let's see, silver, some redstone. Beautiful. Okay, and I think I got it. So two there. Gears. Pistons and there we are. Boom. Gonna need my wrench. It's almost dead. And let's take a look at this thing. I just want to look at the interface. Okay, so it's the same as it's always been. Throw your lava in, it makes power. Cool. And it's pickaxable. Perfect. So we got those. Um, we're going to need some wooden conductive pipe, which I'm not sure if I have conductive or not. There's one. Um, let's see. Wooden conductive pipe. I need gold conductive pipe. I'm going to need a wood transport pipe. I'm going to need some cobblestone transport pipe and I need some big a big chest of some sort um hmm thinking a crystal chest but that requires diamonds this gold chest would do but hmm let's see do I have enough for diamond pipe, maybe? Um, let's see, diamond transport pipe. So, diamond transport pipe. There you are. Two diamonds for eight of them, okay. So I'd need two diamonds for that. Um, let's do it. Oh. I'm going to need 
see, 8, 8, need 16 flint, and I just totally, there we go, get that out of my life, redstone, I think I'm done with you, I won't need, uh, I might need to orient the, orient some, uh, engines around, I might not though, because I'm going to use, I'm going to put down my wood conductive pipe first, and then throw an engine on it. That way it orients itself. Um, let's see. Okay. So, we got all of this. I'm going to use diamond pipe, uh, just to, just because it, um, it makes it easier to organize what you're taking in and if I have one diamond pipe I can get all the cobble and gravel and crap like that out um, are there void pipes on here oops void pipe yeah okay so I want to make a void transport pipe also I'm gonna need an ink sack I'm not sure if I have any of those okay you're just out of power Five charcoal. Throw that in there. Um, okay, you're not running. Now, do I have an ink sack? I do. One ink sack, one piece of glass, and one piece of redstone. Um, I like void pipes rather than throwing everything into lava, just because uh, it automatically deletes it from the game instead of uh, creating the animation of it burning up in lava if you guys know what I mean I don't know a lot of the advanced users of this pack would know uh, what I'm talking about it's when you burn something up in lava it makes an animation and that animation uh, has to render like when you look at this torch technically that's using memory to show you that there's smoke coming off of that torch and the animations happening now when you get a quarry that's really moving like I mean it's just cutting the ground up and you know keeping that chunk loaded and then you also have it going through a build craft pipe and down and over through a diamond pipe getting sorted into lava and then the lava is getting animated because it's catching a whole bunch of cobblestone and crap and burning it up and uh, creating particle effects and all that where a void pipe will just delete it pretty much so that's why I use void pipe usually um, it just makes sense to me we're gonna throw all of them but one in here and that's good it's nighty night time, just about. Now it's nighty night time, perfect. Okay. I'm gonna need two pieces of obsidian. I'm probably, I don't know where I am, okay. Still got some obsidian, but we're going to have to get some obsidian at some point. I'm going to need a lot of lava if we're going to run it this way. So I might do a revamp on the on the lava generator, the magmatic or the magma crucible. Why am I not overclocking you now? I just need to build a whole crap ton of overclockers. One, like two for every machine. There we go. Let's just get one of these built. Ready to go. There we are. Hurry up. Hurry up. There's a limited amount of time here. <laughs> Getting close to the end of this episode. I'll 
I'll probably run it a little longer though, just because uh, my my wifey wife interrupted, and I didn't turn off my stopwatch. Well, I was she was talking on my stopwatch because I use my phone. So let's see. Got a bunch of metal on me. Um, in bar and iron, you can go in there for now. Um, trying to think of if if I need anything else. I don't think so. Oh, glass. Need one piece of glass. There we are. Okay. Need to eat. Okay. Compressor. Got that ready. Guess while we're at it, throw that in there. And we will put these in a circle. And throw obsidian in the middle. Perfect. Another diamond is made. I think these have to be regular diamonds too. Beautiful. Okay. Now, like that. Then, we got ourselves some diamond pipe. Diamond transport pipe. It's awesome stuff um, for build craft. I wish we had pneumatic pipes still. Um, I'm a firm believer that red power was the saddest thing to ever leave the mod community. When we lost red power, it was like, no, no, no. It's like not getting your favorite toy for Christmas. What? I got emeralds. Didn't even know it. See how much I pay attention, guys? But it's been, I've been on this pack for a while. So I'm bound to forget some things. Okay, so, conductive, conductive. Um, that's... Our main transport pipe, got wooden transport pipe, diamond transport pipe, and our void pipe. Okay, so there's that. Now, we need a type of storage for this. I'm thinking that gold chest downstairs. I really should make a few, but I think that'll do what I want it to do, because that's a lot of storage room. And um, minus the cobble, minus the grapple. Minus the sand. Yeah, I think that'll hold everything that we want. So, let's build two uh, barrels. One for netherrack and one for... Um, one for netherrack, one for sand. So, let's see here. Let's go like this. It might be too much, but... That'll make two barrels. Okay, so I need to do this. So like that, and then we'll go... Oh, that's all I need was two barrels. Dang it. I went overboard on the... on the half slabs. There we go. Beautiful. Got two more barrels for storage down here. Oh, no, no. Once you place a barrel, it's hard to move it. Um, just because, <laughs> look at this. 3,293 cobble. There's no way my inventory could hold all that. So, yeah. Okay. Netherrack and sand. Put our netherrack here. And our sand in the other one. Okay. And let's see, we are going to put, huh, I had half slabs right there, no biggie, should make a few more barrels really, but there's more netherrack, get that out of there, put our clay in here, we have the room for it now, um, I also had some more ore down here and stuff, sorry, I'm just trying to Get some organization going here. Oh, was that all of it? There's no way. 
guess so. Okay. Jeez Louise. Let's make sure we got it all out. Okay. Now. Clay. Gonna throw you in there. Um. What do we got? Okay. Cassite. Cassiterite or whatever, I guess. I think we're done with this for now. I'm gonna make some torches. There we are. I think I got everything set up to what for uh, what I want to do with it. I'll just put you there for now. And I got that chest cleared out. So we're gonna need a gold chest. Oh no. No, no, no. Dang it! Why did I do that? This pick, man, it's touchy. I think I left my CF backpack and sprayer up here. Sprayer backpack! Yay! Now, watch this go everywhere, right? I gotta put on that backpack in order to use it. There we go. Ah, oh, yeah, I knew that was gonna happen. So get to the side of it like this. Okay, good enough. Um, let's move that out of our hand so we don't hurt it. Okay. Looking good, looking good. Um, you know what? I should probably carry the CF backpack and this on me. Um, I don't know what kind of platforms or whatever I'm going to have to build. And we have to find a place to put this quarry. Also, um, let's see. We're going to be using magmatic engines. I'm going to need some lava cells of some sort. So let's use a stack of tin and we'll just make some lava cells and we will fill up some lava cells to run this magmatic. Okay, so cook some tin. Um, let's turn off the pulverizer for a sec because it's a power kill. So that in there. Grab these overclockers, throw them in the furnace. Boom. Okay, that's perfect. Um, oh, jetpack. There you are. Put that there. Give me a bucket of lava. Okay, how's this doing? Yeah, we haven't played with it for a while, so it's almost up to 600,000 EUs. Right. So yeah, we'll make some empty cells and uh, probably make a nether trip, get some lava. I really should look into a pump and stuff too, but... Um, I just want to get this quarry going, really, just because it's... Oh, you know what else I'm going to need? A bucket of water. Whenever you run a quarry, you need a bucket of water. There's a reason for that. I'll show you when we set it up. Um, I'll tell you about it now, though. <laughs> it uh, You always carry a bucket of water because once you start your quarry and it starts digging down, put some water in a corner. Seriously, because it uh, if you encounter lava, your quarry's going to stop. And the water will turn into obsidian, which is mineable by a quarry. So it's really good to always have a bucket of water with you whenever you set up a quarry. Um, just because it's it makes it that much easier. You don't have to go down and play with lava and worry about hitting lava and stuff. You just 
a bucket of water is a pretty simple thing to do. I'm just making sure I got everything I want. Um, really nice, be nice to have uh, two ender chests, but no, I don't think we're gonna do that. <laughs> we don't got enough ender pearls. I thought I, you know, I could have swore I had an ender pearl around here somewhere. Um, but I guess I don't. It's kind of a bummer. Got a music disc. <laughs> Maybe I should build a jukebox, really. Because it gets pretty quiet here in Minecraft land when we don't got nothing going on. I'm gonna need charcoal for this. There we go. Um, you know, I'd really like to have an electric engine and a solar panel also for the quarry, just so it runs when we're not, you know, when we don't have the lava for it. But that's it's basically our new way of mining, so we aren't gonna really mess with it. Oh. I'm just remembering all sorts of stuff. I'm going to need some uh, landmarkers. I'm going to need some lapis and some redstone torches, if I remember correctly. Let's see. Um, some of these landmarks. Yep, redstone torch and lapis. So, let's build... Uh, let's see, we need one, two, three, four... And we got sticks, and we're going to need four lapis also. And yeah, I'll show you how I set up my quarries. I haven't done this on camera before, but I've gotten decently good at it over the years. Okay, there we go. So we got landmarks, we got our chest, we got... Pretty much everything we need. Put that in bar back in there. Um, I need plates, don't I? These all need to be plates. Okay, good enough. Um, gosh, I really like to have charcoal going at all times if I can. Let's creosote bottles. There we are. Take half of those. Put them in this one. Just so they go quicker. Okay. I think we got everything going on that we want to go on. Um, yeah. Which means I'm gonna end the episode here, guys. Thank you for watching, and I will... See you in episode 100 sometime where we're going to set up this damn thing. Um, talk to you later, guys. Bye.